What time is it? It's journey time and time for another creative journey using Stampin' Up! products. Hello, my name is Kathy Haynes and today we're going to make this simple easel card using a touch of ink polymera stamp set. And this is such a cute stamp set and you can get it for free if you act fast with any hundred dollar product purchase um, in our celebration catalog you can order this absolutely free and it is just adorable. The stamps are actually much bigger than pictured on the outside, making it even more amazing. So let's get started. Um, again, my website and all dimensions will be down below. And this is going, going on most likely because celebration ends February 28th. So that would be the last day you could place an order on my site and get this for absolutely free if you place a hundred dollar or more order. So for, and there's other items for $50 increments, but this one I thought was just really cute. I'm excited to have it. We're also going to be doing a giveaway just like I promised in my last video. So I'm going to give you all the information at the end of my video on how you can win an amazing an amazing product. It's a retired product, but still amazing. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is an easel card. It lays flat to mail. And then you open it up and you can write your sentiment here. Um, we're also gonna be using the mini messages. This is such a great idea. It's one stamp. So using the stamp apparatus, you can get, I don't even know how many, um, sentiments are in here, but look at all of them. Um, the one that I used it is just, I used it, oh my gosh. The one that I used is just wanted to say, and that's to a French special friend. And on the inside, I'm gonna tell her what I wanted to say. I've also used other sentiments, sentiments like be strong and be brave. That's a great encouraging um, card, especially today. And what's great about this set is it also comes as a bundle and you can buy the matching dies. And again, it's one die. And again, I tape mine to the paper after the first time and you simply set it up by matching up the stars and the hearts that are around it. So when you get those centered, then you have this completely the right way to go through your die cutting machine. So just focus on those. If you can see all of them in those holes, then it's time to run it through your machine and you end up with a pile of sentiments. Um, let me see, I have a bag of sentiments here. These all came through one swipe. So these were some black ones that I did. And then the one that we're using today, I used some um, Blackberry Bliss. And look at all those sentiments that I have ready to put on cards. A lot of times I'll make a card, but I won't put um, anything on them because I don't know what I'm going to need them for. So I'll put my sentiment on later. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, it's an easel card. So those are fun cards. Um, they give a lot of wow factor, but they're really quite simple. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our base. And I'm using Highland Heather paper. And I've already pre-scored mine. And again, all the dimensions will be down below. But I simply scored at two and one eighth and four and a quarter for your regular size card. Now we're gonna go ahead and build. So starting on the top, I've cut some black paper along with um, some of this paper. This is beautiful designer series paper from Stampin' Up. And I'm gonna adhere these two together. So I have two panels and I'm gonna stick them right here and here. And there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm adhering the top one directly to the card, the base, but this one, once I adhere this, I'm gonna pop it up and put it on this bottom panel for even more dimension. So let's get started. You can either use Tombow, any kind of liquid tape, and I'm using the same paper, just one side has polka dots and one side has these beautiful flowers. And you know how I hate to choose, so in this case, I got to use both sides. So on this one, I'm gonna have the polka dot popping up. Okay, 
And then on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and have the flowers popping up. Okay. I, I do like the Tombow tape um, adhesive glue. It gives you time to move things around. Okay. Now what I wanna do is I just want to color. I'm using Seaside Spray and Highland Heather. And I just wanna color some of the flowers to kind of bring out the colors that I'm gonna use in my hummingbird in just a minute and on my flowers. So I basically took Highland Heather. I used the lights first and decided which way is up, every which way but loose. And I'm not gonna do a whole lot of coloring on here for the sake of the video, but I, I just saved a pen or saved a post and I saw somebody left a lot of the white at the tip and that brings the tips out. So I'm kind of gonna do the same thing on here and then maybe a little bit over here. And again, I am not your master color watercolor artist. That is my least, my least skill. Okay, so I'm gonna add some of that. Then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna use some seaside spray. Okay. And I think I'll do some of these using the seaside spray. And just randomly, you know, I'm leaving the tips a little bit white. Now I could go back in later, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna leave it like this and put some more dark in to give it even more dimension. But for right now, I'm gonna leave it like it is and you'll see it's gonna look great. So now I'm gonna adhere these to the front. Now the bottom one I wanted to pop up. So I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back. And I'm gonna put that right, I'm gonna center it on the bottom half, okay. And now the one that I colored, I'm just gonna hear straight to the top. There's no reason why you couldn't pop it up. But I, I like the way it lays better when it's flat if it's not popped up. Okay, there we go. We got that part completely done. All right, now we're gonna work on the inside. So here's the inside of the card. And what I have is this part here, that's the stopper for the easel card, that's what holds it. And so the, I have two strips of paper here, one black, and then I have the colored paper. And I'm simply gonna adhere. I chose the dark flowers. So I'm simply gonna adhere this. To my black piece. And again, all the dimensions will be listed below. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, decide which way I want it to go. And then I'm gonna do some coloring. And again, you can color better, do more depth, you know, all that kind of stuff. But for the sake of the video, and you'll see it still works out great, I'm just gonna do a little bit of coloring. This one, whoops, wrong end. Use this one. And this is Highland Heather. And I'm not doing a lot, I just want some of the color. Okay. Now I'm gonna add dimensionals to this also. So that this will be higher on my card. To use as a stopper. Now I'm going to put this a little bit lower than I did this one, I think. So you decide how high you want your your um, thing to be. So I'm going to hear it just about here. All right. And then we're going to do the sentiment. See how fast this card is? I mean, we're almost there. Now. The sentiment we're gonna do using the two-step stamping stamp that comes in here. So all of these, 
have two step stamping, mean, meaning that you stamp the hummingbird, the butterfly, or the leaves in a darker color. And then you come back and you can do, fill it in with these. But these are a watercolor based, you know, option. So it's supposed to look like a watercolor. So they don't fit exactly inside there. They kind of go over, giving it a watercolor effect, which is really, really neat. So it's very simple. If you want to just two, two stamp the hummingbird and the butterfly, we're going to two step the butterfly, but I'm going to show you a different technique when it comes to the hummingbird. So I'm going to ink this up. You could go back in and put darker color on the edges and do that technique that I've shown before in, um, I think, my last video. And then I'm going to take it over here and just line it up best I can and stamp. So hold on just a minute. You're going to see. I always let it sit just a little bit because you want all that ink to soak up into the paper. And there you go. So you see it is bigger than the butterfly but it just gives it that watercolor effect. And this is now our sentiment. And I'm gonna hear that to my black card base. Alrighty. Okay, and I have inky fingers, so I've got some smudges, but I can sponge color later over that and make it look like I did it on purpose. And then I'm simply going to adhere this to the inside of my card base. Okay. I am lining it up at the top so the edges are even. So now I have my card base. Okay, so we're almost there. This is a very, very simple card. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put, um, we're going to take care of our hummingbird. And the technique I'm using for this is you can use either sponges, markers, you can color it any way you want to. But I'm going to use kind of a sponging technique. So I'm going to sponge some color around on here. I'm going over the edges. Then I'm going to show you that you can take your daubers and or a sponge and pull up some more color, kind of get color in there. I had a little bit of Pacific Point on this one too, but I'm using Seaside Spray. So just kind of sponge it all over. So you get the desired color that you want. And then we're simply going to fussy cut this hummingbird out, which isn't too difficult, all right? So starting with the beak, be very careful. You don't want to cut his beak off and then go around and cut right at the dark lines. Okay. okay. I usually go around like this and I'll come back and do some detailing when I'm done. Go in there. So I hope you guys can see this. Very simple. Do some zigzag cuts in there. Okay, back here this out. Get his head. And then again, we're headed towards the beak. So be very careful. Leave enough to keep a strong beak. All right, and then cut off the edge. So I can't see. I can put it down here where I can see it. Okay, the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and cut a little bit into this wing so that I can shape them in a minute. And I'm going to go in here and make some V cuts. You could leave it just like that if you like it like that, but I want it a little bit more detailed and it's just easier at the end to do that. How are we doing? Okay. So out those chats. Hopefully I got cut close enough. I can do that. So there is my bird. And now I'm going to use my thumb and just kind of wedge the wings. Whoops, I tore off the wing, but just don't worry about that right now. I'm going to glue them back on later. Okay, so keep that piece because you cannot, well, I'll show you how to fix it. 
simply going to take a little piece like this, put some glue on it. So this is a great lesson. If you tear something like that off on a flower or this bird, you're simply going to glue a piece of cardstock behind it. Okay, can you see that? And then I'm going to lay my wing, my broken wing, on top. I put glue all over it. Come on. And I'm going to lay my wing on top. Okay. Line it up. It's got glue on the back because I did glue on that whole piece. And then it'll be done. We're going to lay it aside to dry a minute, but my wing is back on. And nobody will ever hopefully know the difference. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our daisies. Now these daisies I cut out of our vellum using the, there's a large and a medium, I think it is, daisy punches. And they're just great. And they're great on regular paper and they're great on, on vellum. So for this vellum, I'm just going to color them up a little bit with the colors that we just used. So I'm going to put a piece of paper under them. Let me grab this paper. And first I'm going to start with some Highland Heather. I'm going to use the blending brush again. That Stampin' Up! just came out with these and I'm going to give it some color. And there's another trick. So see that? You can also do like on a scrapbook page or card, you can put a bunch of color like that, lift it up and you've got your daisy underneath. So I'm going to add some color to both of these. Starting with the Highland Heather. And you could also use a dauber. So I'm going to use some seaside spray and show you how I would use a dauber. Same type of thing and or our sponges and just put random color all over where you would want it. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect by no means. Okay. I've just added random color to it. And this one, I'm just gonna leave for the sake of the video without any color on it. Now I'm gonna take glue dots and or hot glue. So you decide what you wanna use. Vellum has, is a hard thing to get to stick sometimes to things. So glue dots work and or um, a hot glue gun when you're adhering it to the card. All right. So I put these two together, then I'm going to use my thumb and just kind of bend and get some, I always have an extra, extra set at least already pre-done in case I cut off a leaf like I just did the bird. All right, so now I have my other flower. I'm going to take another glue dot, put it on the back. Now if you're using the Stamping Up glue dots, you'll want to use um, at least two or three. Okay. Let's see how this guy's going to work. Come on. And also waiting for the ink to dry sometimes is an issue because it doesn't want to stick. So I'm going to put him towards the top. Okay, let me just use some, I don't have my, um, it's wet still, so it doesn't want to stick to the glue dot. But I'm going to put him right there. Okay. And I'm going to put my other one right here. And then there's these great embellishments. <clears throat> you can choose which colors you want to put on. You know, the lighter ones, you can always color with a blend to any color that you want. So now I have my flowers. And you see it sticks over the edge. I don't want to glue anything to the top here. And the next thing we want to do is we're going to take our bro broken winged bird who can fly now because I played veterinarian with him or her. And I'm going to put a pop dot down towards the bottom because I want him to hang over the edge. <clears throat> so I'm going to have him flying kind of high. Fly high, little butterfly. No, little hummingbird. <clears throat> See how he's over the edge? That way when he's up like this, he pops over the edge and all that stands up. Alrighty, when you lay it down flat, there he is. 
the last thing I want to do to the front right now, I'm going to put a little bit of foliage. I'm going to start calling it a little bit of leaves. I just can't, that word, one of those words. I put some glue on the top and I'm just going to kind of stick it to the back of the bird, however I want it. Again, not sticking it to the back, only on the top. So now my card is almost complete. Um, for mine, I took the little heart and I stamped with Highland Heather because this was a special card for a friend of mine who's going through a difficult time and I wanted to encourage her. So I stamped the word hope and this word comes in this stamp set, but you could use any small, um, any small word that would fit in there. And then I'm just going to sponge up the edges and pop that up with a pop dot. And I think I'm going to have to use the mini pop dot for this one. And I put it back on there. Okay, and this came from one of the mini catalog um, Valentine sets. I can't remember the name of it. And I put that right there. All right, then the other thing, last thing to do would be to decide decide my sentiment and I think you could put your sentiment down here if it's long and I showed you all the sentiments that you could add to it so you just pick which sentiment figure out if you want it up here like our original where it says just wanted to say you want to put a long one down here wherever you want it and our card is complete so what do you think of that I hope you enjoyed it I hope you love the many messages as much as I do I just love this to have all these on hand and ready now for the fun for the what i promised you drum roll da -da 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 i said there would be a giveaway and so what to do to win on this kind of giveaway to have a chance to win is to if you have not already liked and subscribed please do that then comment below under the description and on March 15th, I will do a random drawing for, drum roll, a Darling Label punch set, brand new. Um, if you don't have this, you're going to love it. If you do have one, just think it would be the perfect gift for your friend. And I can't get it open. I don't want to break my nails. And so look at this. It comes with a cute stamp set. Let me see if I can show that to you. Let me take the back of something here inside oh i just so see that it says hello thanks happy birthday just lots of great for different occasions comes with an acrylic block for those that don't have their acrylic blocks yet two different stamping sponges knight of navy and grapefruit grove um i believe that's retired already and then a label punch so what an awesome gift this is, it was, it's retired, but it used to sell for $45. And I have one waiting for you simply by liking and subscribing and leaving a comment below. On March 15th, I will do a random drawing and then I will contact the winner. I will reply on the comments. Um, so this is my very first giveaway. I hope it goes big. Um, and I hope you all enjoy the chance to win. So thank you for taking this journey with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of my next video because I will be posting the winner, well, posting and saying the name of the winner on that video. And I will tell you how you can claim your prize. Okay, so thanks again. Have a wonderful day and looking forward to our next creative journey.